What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skyma, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. In this tour review, we look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection action figure Y Force Petrid. And I'm so excited because we finally got a figure of this character. And you can army build these guys. I'm planning to get like let me see, six or seven more of this figure. Anyways, right here in the front side, we get this good looking picture of the figure. And right there in the corner, a picture of the character. Power Rangers Lightning Collection right there in the top. And right there in the bottom, the name of the character. And right here, we get another picture of the figure. Right up there, there's the name of the character. And we see Power Rangers Wild Force. And we also get in both sides of the package. And right here, another picture of the figure. And also in the back side, again, we see the name of the character. And we get a picture of the figure with all the accessories that he comes with. And we see Wild Force again right there in the corner. And there's nothing in the top side or on the bottom side. So enough chatting. Let's take him out. And here's the figure out of his box and he looks very cool and I believe this is a new body mold is that I never seen this mold before look at the design the paint apps are very amazing I believe that Hasbro just blow my mind because this figure came out very cool all right I'm gonna start out with the weapon he comes with and this piece is freaking awesome. Look at the great work on the spikes. And they're not pointy at all. But they are kind of hard. But they look good. Look at the nice detail. The paints. Man, this is amazing right here in the top. And right here in the tip is very smooth. And the spikes and also on the, well, the parts here in the middle, they're all sculpted. And we get some nice detail detail right there in the middle and same thing around here you can see a little curls around line here and well this part looks kind of funny but at least they added a little spike right there in the bottom and it's not pointy and it's also kind of bendable just a little bit just like the other Power Rangers figures I reviewed before we get the exact same special energy effect and I really love the colors they added on this one. You can see it has some light and dark color all around it. And it's also bendable all around this effect. I really love these effects a lot. Look at the detail it has all around it. For this figure, we get four different hands. And I believe they reused the exact same model. And we get open hand, holding, flat, and fist. But the fist hand has a little bit detail right there in the middle. But I will show you that later. And you can see the detail. The exact same one it has with the other figures I review. And I really love how they came out. And especially the paint that each one has all around it. And here's the figure again. And the head sculpt is so cool. And I believe they reused the model to make this figure because... And both sides, right there, it almost looked like the Power Rangers at Speedy head sculpt. But the only difference is the front side of the face. Because you can see they added that little tiny horn. And they use the exact same color like the spikes of his weapon. And it has a little bit of detail. You guys can see those lines right there in the top. That looks pretty nice. Let me see it's sculpted. Nah, only the horn here sculpted, it, but I do feel some brushing around here in the top, and we do get a little bit more gold color around the eyes, and not bad what they done with the eyes. They look very good. I really love the, the purple color they use for the eyes, especially on the mouth, 
and they're all sculpted very great and also in the back side you can see more purple color with some texture right there and you can see his ears in both sides of his head well back of his head and it feels very smooth around here and you can see a little bit line in the middle okay not bad what they done on the head sculpt right there I really love the lines they added all around the torso on the back and especially on the legs well there's not a lot to talk about the body but you can see some wrinkles right there on the arms in each one and I do like the color used for the lines and we do get a little bit more right there in the back side of the belt and you can see some detail like some wrinkles right there on the belt and you can see a line right there and I can feel some brushing here in the back but not here but I can feel his muscles that's pretty much it right there and we get the exact same color right there on his belt in the middle and I do love the design they done around here it's all sculpted love the silver color and we get more detail right here in this side of this belt and also this one and not bad what they done with the belt it looks pretty cool and also love the black color it has all around well in the legs well there's not a lot to talk about it does has a little bit of wrinkles right there but you can see they added this detail on the ankles and we get more gold color all around and so sculpted and same thing here on the wrist and each one okay the detail I'm gonna show you the fist hands has well the fist hand has is right there I'm not sure you guys can see it right there you see the detail like they added a little bit of wrinkle right there and the knuckles are sculpted in both hands right there. Like I said, they done a pretty good job with the hands. The sculpting, the texture. Because they do have a little bit of texture. Like the open hand right here. Let me show you guys. Like you can see a little bit of texture right there. And you can see the sculpting from the flat hand with the thumb. Like I said, they done a pretty good job with the hands in each one. And you can see right there in the top of his legs, we get this detail, like these wrinkles around there. And there's really nothing around his waist here. And But we do get more wrinkles here on the biceps. Let me see in the back side. Yep. Also in the back side. I believe we get the exact same model on the foot in each one because I've already seen these type of design before. I believe the other figures I review, I can't really remember, but they reuse it to make this figure. And like I said in the beginning, the paint apps are very good. I really love it. You can see a little circle right there on the arms. And all that is amazing. Alright, now let's get on with his articulation. You can move his head side to side, a complete rotation. He can look down a lot, he can look up, straight ball joint and maybe see he has neck articulation yep he does you see he has some neck articulation right there you can move his arms around each one and he has some butterfly joints you can open his arms as much bicep swivel double jointed right there and some wrist articulation and some bivet and speaking about the wrist articulation the Dino Fury Green Ranger has some articulation on her arms you can move them all around in each one. All right, back to the figure. Okay, he has some torso articulation. You get to bend it back and forth. He has a ball joint right there. And he has no waist articulation at all. But you can open his legs this much. Very good. And we get some articulation right there around the legs. He can kick a lot in the front. Hold it. And also in the back. Double jointed on the knees, no rotation around here, but we do get some rotation right there in the ankle and some ankle articulation as well. Comparing size, but first let's see how tall this figure stands. He stands just exactly almost six inches tall, a little bit taller. Here he is with my Time Force Red Ranger, and I believe that this guy stands a little bit taller than my Red Ranger right here. Here he is with my Fortnite figure Galaxy and you can see he's taller than Galaxy right here. 
And here he is with my third Morris Oled Thanos. And there you have it, guys. Like I said in the beginning, the body mold is new. That I never seen it, but it's great. I really love the paint apps, especially the weapon that he comes through. I really love the spikes and the paints that he has on the spikes. And the head sculpt is very cool. I'm so glad that we finally got a figure of this character. And hopefully that I find more of this figure. Because like I said, I'm going to build an army of this guy. Like maybe six or seven. I don't know. But this figure is amazing. Well done, Hasbro. Alright guys, that's all for today. So thank you for watching today's review. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead, be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future, like my tour reviews, toy hunts, and unboxing videos when I get packages from Amazon and Big Bad Toy Store. And please follow my Facebook page, CM Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And I catch you guys on the next one. So take care, be safe, keep on hunting, keep on collecting. I'll see you next time. This is Yen Sukaima and Putret, and we're out in line.